Welcome, Chessies, all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're coming to us from. I'm so glad you're here. We're so excited to be celebrating season five of Chesapeake Shores. Welcome to a live virtual event. Of course, celebrating season five of Chesapeake Shores, Hallmark Ooh. Channel's hit series premiering this Sunday, August 15th. I'm Deidre Behar from Entertainment Tonight. It's truly an honor to be here with all of you, joined by some of our favorite faces, the O'Briens themselves. Please help me welcome the cast of Chesapeake Shores, Treat Williams, who you know as Mick, Barbara, hi. Uh, hi, Barbara Niven, who plays Megan, Lacey J. Maley, who plays Jess, Brendan Penny, who's Kevin, and Andrew Francis, who plays Connor. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How's everyone doing? It's been a roller coaster of a year. Of course, we're still at home, but I see you smiling. And of course, I know you're excited about season five of Chesapeake Shores. How you doing? Great. It's good to be home. Yeah, you like being at home. <laughs> yeah, but we miss we miss the island. It's it's hard because you're there and, and it's and it's this beautiful, peaceful place. And then we have all this family around us, but we miss our other family. So it's kind of a catch twenty two, but good to be home. I also miss an air conditioned room. That was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we whether we are on, on, right, Andrew? <laughs> yeah. I want to jump right in because it's been a minute since the Chessies have been indulged with our favorite show, Chesapeake Shores. And, you know, I, I know in season five, a huge theme is gonna be new beginnings. So I kind of want to talk about where your characters left off in season four and kind of the trajectory moving forward into season five. So, you know, Treat and Barbara, I want to talk really quickly um, about where we left things off as Mick and Megan's romance started bubbling up and where do you see it going in season five? Take it away, Treat. How about it, Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it is fun to be rekindling this thing. Um, mm -hmm. And when you come back together after being apart for a long time, you bring some of the old baggage. But then if you're, I just think every time she looks at Mick, yeah. she remembers, and she gets the goosebumps and the heart goes pity pat again. And I think fans are going to like the relationship and as it develops because um, we're both afraid to really bring it up because we don't want to mess what's what's happening. But man, it's nice. And let me tell you how wonderful it is to act opposite Treat Williams and tell be able me. to do those those <laughs> scenes with him. I mean, he's, it's just such an honor to work with this cast. Everybody brings such um, such a, a wealth and depth of character and um, and life experience to it. And we we have a blast together. And, and it's fun. Everybody is so funny something that we don't really see on on camera as much um but everybody is is just got huge personality like they crack we crack each other up the whole time i mean tree that's some high praise from barbara niven how does that make you feel makes me feel good i'm glad she answered because i don't remember where we left off. <laughs> <laughs> see what i mean i just I saw mean the writing and i said oh good we're getting along this is great and it just <laughs> as we went forward, but uh, it's been a really, uh, uh, I, I'm speaking for myself, I've had more fun this year than any of the seasons. The writing is spectacular, the cast is in great spirits, and I think we all really knew we were doing something special this year. Yeah, We have a new showrunner this year, Fief Sutton, who is multiple Emmy Award winning uh, guy for, um, what was it, Cheers, and mm -hmm. Boston Legal, oh, so he brings such, um, amazing writing and depth to us. Um, it's intelligent, it's funny, and it's a, a real homage to look like the old 30s movies. That's what Treat always keeps saying, right, Treat? Yeah, they, there's a character he introduced uh, called Mandrake. It's, right, it's like a butler out of a 30s comedy, like <laughs> out of uh, one of those Cary Grant movies. But it, it's just really wonderful writing. And, you know, I, I think not since, it's been a long time since I thought, I can't wait to get up in the morning and go to work and do this stuff. It's really, we all looked forward to it. It was so good. Yep. Okay, so Barbara, for fans who are really rooting for this Mick and Megan uh, rekindling of the sorts, what can you tease for fans? How romantic are things going to get in season five? Uh, well, in the very first uh, episode, there's uh, a little smooch, which was kind of fun. And um, uh, we can't really reveal too much, but just suffice it to say that um, 
Megan watches Mick go through a lot, uh, it, a lot of uh, consternation with his business, and mm -hmm. um, there's still that the push pull. Like, how much do you reveal about how you feel? Because maybe you're going to get rejected again. But oh my God, look at what what would happen if maybe we just go all in. So there's a lot of exploration like that, like we do in real life. And I think the fans are going to be really excited about where it goes. But there's also some uh, cliffhangers at the end, too. So we can't give away too much, but it's going to be epic, pretty much. I like that word. I like that word a lot. I can't wait to watch as hopefully the romance continues to unfold. Uh, I want to pivot over to Brendan. Hi, Brendan. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> Good. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited to see what happens next with Kevin and Sarah. You know, they've opened up this conversation about starting a family, uh, the the challenges and the excitement and all of that that comes with it. What can you tease about their family planning journey in season five? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously with someone as lovely and as beautiful as Sarah mm -hmm. is, Kevin's definitely excited to start a family. Um, and uh, no, I, just, I think that, um, you know, I think that together they, they're really ready to take that next step. And I think that he's definitely been ready to uh, kind of take on those challenges. And he obviously wants a very large family coming from a very large family, which is, uh, you know, it's maybe not met with such enthusiasm, but they kind of, they, they take it in stride and they start to plan forward. And there's a lot of things that kind of go along with that that you're just going to have to watch and see. I mean, are there are there challenges? Are there hurdles along the way? And how do they, as a couple, navigate that together? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the challenges are I think that we both have different um, different ideas of when we want to have kids, how many kids we want to have, and it's frustrating for one of the characters. I won't say who. Uh, and then there's also these other challenges of, you know, I don't want to give anything away, but there's definitely a lot of challenges that come along with the planning and the, you know going ahead with having kids. Okay. So as as an objective fan of the show, remove yourself obviously from from any bias. What would you want to see Kevin and and Sarah's family look like? Um question. I think, you know, that they could start kind of uh, an adventure pack family where we uh, you know, they kind of go on and conquer the world one mountain climb at a time. <laughs> <laughs> that's so romantic. Kind of adventurous and that sort of thing. And I think that's kind of where Kevin really wants. You know, he jokes a little around in the beginning of, you know, having a starting lineup, that many kids. And I think that that's exactly where he would want to go. And, you know, I just want to see them succeed. They're such nice people. They're great characters and they're both very heroic. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, uh, it'd be nice to see them succeed and kind of get everything they want. But of course, along the way, it'd be nice to see those struggles. So it's really worth it. Do you think Kevin will have five kids like the family he came from? Oh man, I don't know. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. That's his goal. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, as as Kevin and Sarah begin this this journey of family planning, Lacey, I want to pivot to you. Jess is also in the throes of a very exciting time in her life. We left her as an engaged <laughs> woman. I love a wedding. I love a Hallmark wedding. So I am hoping that you can indulge us and tell us: Will there be a wedding episode this season? Uh, yes. Yes. This was the best season ever. Planning the wedding with David. Obviously, you know, the in-laws show up and stir the pot a little bit. So there's a little mm -hmm. drama. But um, filming this wedding was the most fun I've ever had filming anything. Tell me. We danced harder and laughed harder <laughs> in that, that was that the wedding party then i got like i i peed my spanks i'll tell you and i'm not the only one we were having <laughs> so much fun yeah like i kept this place, like obviously um it was honestly it was like a real wedding it was stressful you look so beautiful in that, in that I know. dress it was oh. amazing they, they did such a good job they let me pick the dress it was it was stunning it was everything it was emotional oh, yeah and it took two days so it was exhausting <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. Well, now I'm flooded with questions. I mean, first off, what does Jess's dream wedding look like? Is it big? Is it romantic? Is it more outdoorsy and rustic? What can you tell us about the vibe? Backyard, intimate, rustic, beautiful, fairy tale, you yeah. know. Yeah. 
Um, I, I have a question. That day on set, were there were there like real tears? I mean, I know that obviously Lacey's playing a character, but seeing her in a wedding dress, did anybody get emotional? Yes. Yes. Yeah, thank you. I think you cried. And we cried. We got emotional too because at the very end, there's this amazing drone shot that mm -hmm. go that starts on on Lacey and all of us dancing to Irish music, and then it pulls out, and it's magnificent. And you know, the most magnificent part of it, where we got tears, was watching Treat Williams break dance during that. <laughs> Do you remember that? Now, what kind of tears they the were? <laughs> yeah. He did grease. There were tears amazing. of shame, tears of shame, my family's <laughs> You go. And Andrew, you've had a huge Andrew, you've had a huge smile glued on your face ever since I brought up the word wedding. I mean, what are some of these memories that are coming back to you that you can tease for fans about that big episode? Well, uh, you know, uh, for the wedding, it was a beautiful wedding. It was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it was on sort of the point and just with the house in the background, it was gorgeous. Um, but for the dancing part, I was dancing with Gran. And uh, so we would do about six, seven takes. So by the end, you know, uh, Diane actually wasn't there for that portion of the dancing. So they had somebody else doing it, uh, a stand in of sorts. And uh, she had a, a, an iWatch or an Apple Watch on. And after every time she would check her heartbeat and that'd be, it'd be up at like 140 beats per minute. Yeah. So we almost we almost killed the, the dear woman, but she, uh, oh, she gave it to you, Andrew. Not we, you. <laughs> yeah, that's no, 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 sort of a neat thing. I, I also, for all the ladies out there, if you're dancing with Andrew Francis, you better check your heart palpitations. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he does to you. We all do. Yeah, yeah no, it was Andrew. a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, so I'm hearing about break dancing. I'm hearing about a lot of fun, but you know, what I love about a wedding is like a, a real tearful moment. I mean, are there emotional moments? Are there speeches or, or Lacey, is there a, a conversation maybe that Jess has with her, her sisters or something, something that you can tease that will really pull at our heartstrings? I think the, the initial like take one of the wedding, we walked down the aisle. I walked down the aisle with treat and I wasn't expecting it, but it was like, Whoa, like that was kind of the big moment for, for me, for Jess. It was like, I'm, I'm getting married and this is my dad and this is happening. And it was so emotional for me and, and treat too, I think a little bit. Oh yeah, yes, I'm a big cry baby. Up. That's easy, I, I'm a big cry baby. I, I, I went easily since I have a daughter who's 22 and yeah. not, you know, I'm hoping one day I'll be doing the same with her. So it was quite wonderful. Good practice. And I love Lacey, great. so it was so nice to, to have a moment with Lacey. We didn't have much together this year. So that was yeah. really fun. When I was in, I got to watch on ADR. I got to see that that moment, and I swear it almost made me well up a little bit too. And Aww. even though I'm in sort of a business mode and not really into the show, but it was just watching the tears uh, on Lacey's face and and treat welling up and stuff like that. I was like, oh man, this this is emotional. It was it was really powerful. Yeah, and yeah. Carlo too. Just you two were so beautiful. And Lacey, how you how you managed to finesse that dress so much because you had your hand in it. Do you remember when you're doing that and you're oh, yeah. dancing? You really look like the Princess Bride. And I just have to say, I think I kept saying that, but you really did look like the Princess Bride. I so didn't when I got home. Everything was like <laughs> so I the held it of this all says a lot. Yes, yes. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Lacey, well, let, let, let's leave fans with this. If you have to tease the wedding episode in three adjectives, what would you say? Ah, good question. Magical, emotional, and perfect. Oh, I cannot wait. I know it's going to be another epic Hallmark wedding moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Andrew, I want to pivot over to you. I want to talk about the Esquire. He's about to go on a, a fun new career journey. I want to know what what lies ahead with this new job and uh, the complications and excitement that come with it. Yeah, uh, uh, Connor gets a great new job. He's working at a new firm, uh, Denzer, Lewis and Phelps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one. We all had trouble with that line a little bit. Nailed it was it. Tough. You remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one, though. Denzer, Lewis and Phelps. Yeah, he gets this great job and uh, he's given a lot of responsibility, which is really, really good for Connor. And he's just soaking it up. Um, he's kind of in the place that he wants to be and he starts to move up the ladder quite quickly, uh, quicker than I even think that he thinks it's going to happen. Um, but as he does that, he starts to notice some looks and some conversations happening sort of behind his back. Maybe he's not sure if he's being paranoid or not. Um, mm. so, you know, he's getting all these responsibilities and he's moving up the ladder, but 
things may not be what they seem. So there's a little bit of mystery and a little bit of suspense there. Is there one moment in season five that you're really excited for fans to see with Connor? There most definitely is. It has to do with his job at Denzel yeah. Lewis and Phelps. I, I can't definitely give the information on that. It's about uh, <laughs> mid-season, um, but it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scene. Uh, there's two of us on here that are in that scene. And uh, the way we play off each other and sort of the, the comedy that's laced into the scene just through our characters. Like a lot of times, you know, the, the jokes in past seasons have been, I'd say, kind of on the nose and, and they're right there. But a lot of the comedy comes from just character and situational. And in this sort of big, epic, almost mid-season finale, there's comedy mixed with drama, mixed with a little bit of a sting. It's, it's, uh, it's, it was super awesome to film and uh, had a great time. And let's, so, let us not forget your new love interest. Well, uh -huh. Barbara, Barbara, you could literally do this job. I was just no. about to say, what can you tease in terms of romance? I know he's a hardworking career guy, but is there time to find love? Well, you know, I, I don't think he necessarily has time to find love, but um, <laughs> he does have time for love to find him. And uh, there, there is this new paralegal that starts working in the office. And as Connor is uh, is working hard and, you know, these sort of, little looks and conversations are happening. Uh, yeah, this new paralegal comes in and her name's Margaret. She's played by uh, Raylene Harwood and uh, she's a fantastic a actress, a fantastic person. And uh, right away, there's some witty banter between them. And, uh, and it seems like there might be a little bit of a spark there. And she also has sort of the inside scoop on uh, Denzer Lewis and Phelps. Mm. And so it sort of helps Connor along in sort of, uh, you know, uh, fielding this new situation at this new big firm with these these sharks as they're called wow yeah. all right well we better buckle up it sounds like connor's in for a wild season and uh, i know we kind of talked about the three of the o'brien siblings of course amelia and megan couldn't be with us here today but we love them we miss them dearly and hopefully we'll chat with them at some point during the season i am hoping as members of the o'brien family that maybe you guys can tease a little bit about First, let's talk about Brie. I mean, she went to London. Is she coming back? Are we going to find her back with, with family at the start of season five? And where does her journey go? Oh, she comes back. And she <laughs> is with yeah, she a couple back. romances. Did you say a couple romances? Oh, yes. Am I allowed yes. to say that? <laughs> tell us. What More than you one. I can tell you. No, I can't. See, I don't know what I can say. <laughs> I Let's just say she's got, she's got options. She's got options. Somebody take over. Please okay. <laughs> when she comes back, when she comes back, she happens to find herself in a new, um, exciting, potential relationship with someone that is would be kind of from her past. That would be not so great for her, but maybe they would work out and then uh, while that's trying to get figured out someone else comes in that's a bit more suited towards her and she's gonna have to kind of navigate that a bit suffice, suffice it to say that this season there's a lot a lot more romance for everybody and some new hallmark hunks are coming to chesapeake shores this year too i mean we already have you guys there you know you're amazing but uh i think everybody's going to be really pleased and the people that they have now cast and brought in are not only fantastic actors but they fit right in as family they're good people too they belong on hallmark so i and we we will get to the newcomers but you're speaking my language here when you you tease things like a possible love triangle romances from the past sort of bubbling up you know, with, with that, you know, with, with Brie, as she explores what's moving forward, I, I can't help but bring up Abby. Um, you left us with with the season four cliffhanger of all cliffhangers. Uh, we got that epic Trabby kiss. And now we know okay. moving forward, right, Jesse Metcalf is not going to be part of the show. But can you can you kind of, you know, set the record straight? Are we going to see him in season five? And where does Trabby end off? Trabby turns, it turns out to be a Trexit, yeah. <laughs> good, good. But, but it's it's because Jess, Jesse opted to uh, to go another way, and so we had, as I say, Feef Sutton and Hallmark. I think they brilliantly pivoted quickly. So Jesse's in the first two episodes, okay, and and then um, they they brought in just just did an amazing pivot and brought in a storyline and character that is so different. And yet so charming and you're going to root for him. You're going to root for Abby and just, and they start out 
as Preet was saying, as an old 30s movie plot, like the old Kate Hepburn and, and Spencer Tracy, like at each other like this. But then, you know, sometimes when you're mad at somebody and angry that you, and maybe it's just the sparks happening and you're going to say, no, that's that's not happening, is it? So I think they'll be able to the fans will love the journey that happens. OK, and I, I do want to talk about Robert Buckley. He's a fantastic actor. I'm so excited about him coming on the show this season. Lacey, you're, you're um, Abby's on-screen sister. I'm just curious, you know, for fans who are wondering, where is Abby's heart at right now? What can you tell us about that? The whole season, it's Abby claims her heart is closed. And it's like, no, it's not. What about this guy? What about this? What about this? So um, Jess will always get the inside scoop. Jess knows everything. So, <laughs> She's yeah. the gatekeeper, of course. She does. She does. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I really do think that, you know, Robert coming onto the show uh, and, and his character, uh, it brought sort of a lightness and, you know, uh, uh, just a breath of fresh air. Uh, it, like they were able to sort of, uh, Fief and Mark and, and Brian, everybody who was writing the episodes, you know, they were able to sort of add this different element that the audience hasn't seen in past seasons, uh, you know, like a comedic element, but not trying to be funny. I mean, when I would read the scripts, I know all of us, you know, we were all saying as soon as we got the scripts, we couldn't wait to read them. And I would laugh out loud, like genuinely gut laugh at the different characters that have been brought in and the different relationships. And that was a brand new thing. So not only does this season have the drama and the romance and, um, you know, everything that the past seasons had, but it has now this fun, bubbly energy that also includes drama and romance. So it's just be become a much more layered show and a much more balanced show, I think. And I think also, if I may jump in there, just the relationship between um, Abby and uh, and Rob's character is so much different than the relationship with Trace. And Trace has been, you know, it's like a long time that they were together and that they knew each other and it was very serious and how it was almost tumultuous more than anything. Mm -hmm. And um, with Rob now, it's almost like a kid-like refreshing Aww. love mm -hmm. and very playful and it's really nice i don't think that the audience has seen that side of her and i think that the writers and rob really brought out that um and, and megan of course she's absolutely talented but it just mm -hmm. she's showing that side a bit mm -hmm. more and i think that it's uh you know not having jesse of course he's going to be missed but it's yeah. also extraordinarily nice to have someone come in with such a new flavor and it's not a replacement. It's just it's a different storyline. And I think that the fans are really going to enjoy that. So there's not going to be any. Yeah. And, and I think yeah. if the fans yeah. watch Abby, um, Abby giggle with Evan. Um, you, I have never, I don't know about you guys, but I've never personally seen Megan Ori just light up and laugh yeah. and giggle so much. She's got the, the giggle of all time, doesn't she? <laughs> you didn't yes. expect that from her. She looks like she'd be this, you know, like have a giggle, right. giggle or something. She's goofy. And, yeah. and every character now is a, has a greater depth this season. And and just, I think that the, the writers dug into who we are and watched who we are more as a, as people, as individual people. And they've added that layer to our characters too. So I think the fans are gonna discover brand new depths to all of us and to the show and to the family than they've ever seen before in season five. Can I, can I just add one thing that uh, what's really wonderful What's been great this year is that Abby uh, uh, joins Mick in the business. And, uh, oh, the yes. And uh, that was really wonderful because it gave Megan and I a chance to uh, to have some really great stuff together and to become partners. And uh, her value to the, to, the, to the family company is extraordinary. And, and so that's been a wonderful addition to make them the mm -hmm. company together rather than just Mick's company. Well, it sounds like you guys are delivering the most delicious and rich season possibly yet. Before we wrap up, before we wrap up this conversation, and I want to play a quick rapid fire game. I'm hoping that each of you can pinpoint the one must see moment in season five of Chesapeake Shores that you are so excited for fans to see. Treat, let's start with you. You look like you're thinking hard. <laughs> I hate to say this, but it has to be with Gregory Harrison when we go camping yeah. together as brothers. It's it's not pretty, but it's very funny. <laughs> I have to say there's a couple scenes in the camping thing that I'm very proud of. We had a lot of fun. Okay, that sounds wild. I'm ready for it. Andrew? Uh, a big a big moment in the season that I'm willing or I'm I'm excited to see is actually the very last scene of the season. Uh there's um 
there some stuff goes down this season and uh you know by the very end it's kind of a lot of stuff comes to a head so i'm excited to see exactly where the where the season ends off okay so the final scene of season five yeah, I, I can't say anything more because so much anymore. happens on the way to get there but we andrew, got whiplash doing it and i'm sure the fans will too andrew <laughs> andrew gets to act up a storm that's all i'm gonna say Right, the hair is always on point. Uh, Bar Barbara, what's your must-see moment in season five? Um, I I personally loved filming a scene with Sarah, um, Jessica Sipos. Um, uh, it's like I had another daughter, and I think it's a universal theme that so many of us have gone through. I cannot tell you what it is, but I think it happens in uh, towards the end of the season. But, um, oh my gosh, what a fine actress she is, and I, 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 it's one of my favorite scenes ever. Just the two of us in it, just talking about woman stuff and family and, and how, when you go through something, it teaches you how to find your own strength ultimately. And I know Bar Barbara can't say much more about that, but that scene was, was talked about. Like, I mean, we heard oh. the next day, wow, this scene is powerful, powerful stuff. And that happened multiple times this season, you know, but that was one of them. It was like the next day it was like, whoa 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 like everybody you know either i can't say was either laughing hysterically or crying hysterically it was one of the two of those but they were, <laughs> everyone <laughs> is hysterical <laughs> I think, period hysterical i thought there was a, a there was a day all throughout the season where we all said one of us really brought it yesterday and the word gets out really quickly and it was really wonderful the support we had for one another and, and every yeah. like every one of us had one of those moments given yes, to us and everybody took them and ran with them yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, you're all powerhouses, truly. Brendan, yeah. I want to know your season five must see moment. Uh, for me, it, the must see moment I want is uh, there, I have a whole storyline with uh, Captain of the Firehouse, oh. Captain Gaffigan, and or Gahagan, sorry. And um, oh, there's one scene when I go to his house and I kind of discover what's going on with him, and I'm really excited to see that. That's a must see, and I think that there's a lot of beauty and a lot of silence and a lot of. Yeah going on in that and i think that the fans are really gonna like that too yeah All brendan right. acted up a storm in that one too oh. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have one more i got to be in a bike race against andrew and guess who won Sorry, andrew. team megan yes <laughs> Sorry, um, for yeah. real. i want to put it out there i want to I'll say that i want i just want to say that we all could be accused on occasion of acting up a storm <laughs> yeah. For better or worse, yes. <laughs> and can there, I just there were quite a few treat scenes that were brought up the next day as well that were like, oh, whoa, oh my whoa, God. All everybody this. had them. Yeah. 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 They were it's saying, a, oh my a... God, he was so over the top. He believed it. <laughs> it really feels like such an ensemble. Like, why did it take us five seasons to truly gel as a family and an ensemble? I, so, for so many reasons, but I'm just so proud of you to be on screen and a part of this series with each one of you. You just, you're my heart. Yeah. I gelled with you guys yeah. in season one. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait. What? And, and Lacey, we, we got to know your favorite must-see moment oh. in season five. Andrew, you stole mine, but it's actually yours. I want to see the final scene. It's like the biggest cliffhanger we've ever had on the show. So yeah. I've heard all about it. I read it, but I want to see. I'm waiting for that. And okay. Andrew does stunts. If acting doesn't work out, you can always do stunts, babe. No more. Man, who knows if I do? Who knows if I don't? We'll see. Yeah, we don't know. Cliffhanger <laughs> stunts. If you had to describe the finale in, in a couple words, what would you say? It's epic. It's absolutely epic. From the, from the start of the episode to the last scene, it is epic. Wow. Whiplash. Whiplash. My goodness. Okay. B buffo. It's Buffo. <laughs> buffo. <laughs> no. You're aging us, Treat. I know what you mean. Hey, man, you, we're, we're doing Throwback 30 stuff. I'm putting those words back in the show. <laughs> yeah. Keep them alive and well. And listen, be before I let you guys go, I want to play a really fun rapid fire game I affectionately call Chesapeake Shorperlatives. I'm going to oh. throw. I'm going to throw out a, a title, something that you'd see, you know, maybe in, in, in a yearbook. And you tell me who from the cast in real life would be most likely to do these things. OK. Who would be most likely in real life to write their own screenplay or book? Street Williams. Street. Street. Yeah. I'm, Street. I'm, 
I think that's probably true. I just did a play that I wrote, so. I, are we, I love I love it. What can you tell us a little bit? I wrote a one man show about Ulysses Grant, um, and I did it uh, the last two and three nights ago in Massachusetts, and it went very well. So it looks like. Uh, do, do you have a link we could watch? Yeah. No, no, it was on stage. Uh, no well, videotape, no iPhone. <laughs> it's a play. No it's theater. It's a play. <laughs> Eventually, we might film it, but. Good. Stage. We'll, anyway, we'll yeah. come see it. We'll have Keep a it together, Brendan. We'll come see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, on camera. <laughs> Who would be most likely to start their own band? Andrew. Andrew. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, got, he's already got the crystal things and the singing bowls. <laughs> yeah, if it's a band, if a band made of just gongs and crystal bowls and, uh, and some chimes, <laughs> then I got it covered, yeah. Perfect. Uh, who would most likely be, sorry, who would be most likely to start a side hustle by opening up their own bed and breakfast? That'd be Brendan. I'm that, so I'm doing it. <laughs> you are? Yeah, the place is up and running right now. Probably. Wow. Brendan got his place up and running, and literally the moment that he did, the, the dings, 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 dings on his phone just would not stop. Yeah. He was booked in like, I mean, Brendan, like in no time. And then he'd lose one and go, oh, no, I lost, ding, and then be again taken. It was wild. What, what a how's, it, how's it going, Brendan? It's great. It's going great. Yeah, it's fully booked. It's great, Eric. Tofino, British Columbia, you can't go wrong. One of the prettiest places in uh, Canada. And, and, Brendan, you have something to fall back on if this doesn't work out. <laughs> well, thanks for putting that out in the universe, tree. It's always nice. <laughs> Brendan, I am curious. Was your work on Chesapeake Shores at all influenced by the, your decision? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, Jess, didn't inspire you? Yeah. Oh, you, sure, yeah. Well, yeah. yes. But Lacey has inspired me to be a better actor, so I think I'll just stick with that. <laughs> good answer. That's a good answer. Who's likely to become the next great entrepreneur and start a business and just kind of flourish? Andrew. Oh Andrew yeah. The busiest person. He can't sit still. <laughs> way too many businesses as it is. Yeah. I am can, quite busy. can you tell us a few, Andrew? Yeah. Well, I have um, obviously my my acting, my voice acting, uh, but I have a. Um, a meditation business called Zen Den Meditation, where we do in, in person classes and virtual classes through our app and our website. Uh, and then I've just sort of uh, taken a big dive into producing. Uh, we have a, a call at 3.30 today to sort of ink a, a big movie with a big movie star who's in it. Uh, and so I've been sort of going down that venture as well. So keep myself nice and busy. Yeah, in between seasons. Do you yeah. sleep? <laughs> I do, but I have two new dogs and my girlfriend, so I sleep on just a little sliver of the bed. But yes, I know, I, I guess I was I know that one. <laughs> and Andrew, as you continue into your production foray, how likely are you to hire your esteemed Chesapeake Shores co-stars? I am very, very likely. Um, <laughs> okay. Some of the projects are Hallmark, and some of them are uh, for other networks and are a little bit more gritty. So uh, I expect to go around to all the people. I mean, we we all love each other. After just yeah. five years, you know, we've gelled so much that the opportunity to work with like these people is top notch. So they would be the first people that I would go to. I like that answer. Yeah. And here's my last one. Who's most likely to buy a boat and live happily on the open seas? Tree. Me. <laughs> Who? Definitely me. <laughs> Don't even try to compete. Maybe treat, but me. Tell me why. <laughs> Brendan and I will we'll go together because yeah, I mean, together. Together. there you go. Brendan and I both grew up on the water, so we're both water babies. I think we'd go together. We we'll get about best together. friends on a boat, well, yelling, you know, yelling at each other. <laughs> I love it. You guys. Boats, I'm actually headed to Tofino this weekend, and I'm staying on a 42 inch boat just yeah. in the bay outside of Brendan's place. So hopefully, I'm going to see him. You are. Yeah. yeah. Are, there gonna be, are there gonna be any drones? <laughs> if there are, I'll keep my eye on them as you know. Too. That's right. There's, well, a, there's a, a, a shot from season three where a drone is going over our boat, and Treat caught me literally doing this towards the drone, trying to suck up camera time. And I have not been able to live it down since. So, uh, yeah, but your hair was perfect. <laughs> I have a feeling the hair is always perfect. It is. Yeah, he that's what I felt. Treat the same way. I mean, no. Brandon, you too. You want like it. father, like son. They keep spraying me and combing me. I I want it to fall around, but they keep coming over and pushing it back and all that. So I just I stop fighting it. 
<laughs> yeah, Andrew this year has told me that his hairline is is getting lower and lower, and mine is getting higher and higher. <laughs> I That's did say a brotherly that. thing to say. <laughs> His hair is so good that as soon as we wrapped, I had to cut mine off. <laughs> <laughs> and my eyebrows are about to connect with my hairline. So That's right. I'm having to get weird, yeah. Listen, I have to tell you, there, there's obviously a lot of great hair on Chesapeake Shores, but I have to tell you, in the short amount of time that I've spent with you fine folks today, there's a lot of love also between this yeah. cast. It's so obvious that you guys are, are not just a family on Chesapeake Shores, but very much off. And I encourage all of the Chessies that are watching right now to become part of this family. You have to tune in this Sunday, August yeah. 15th, 8 p.m. Hallmark Channel. Yeah. These people are bringing their A game and I cannot wait to see what happens in season five. Thank you all so much for your time. Can, can we can we also ask Peter to have people um, live tweet with us during the show? And of just course. use the hashtag Chessies and, and at Hallmark Channel. And uh, we, every single episode, we all jump on and it's so much fun for us to watch and live tweet with all of you guys. And we wouldn't be here without their fans. We're so grateful. Yeah. Hashtag Chessies all day long. Thank you guys again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love Thank you guys. You. See ya. Bye.